Sergeant Franz Walker grew up in a family with a history of military service dating back to the Revolutionary War. His grandfather, father, two younger brothers, and his older brother all served in the military. The only reason I was even thinking about joining the military was after my brother passed away. He was killed in uh, 2007, June 16th, by a roadside bomb in Iraq. I felt like it was my, my duty and the best way to honor him. In 2009, Franz joined the Army. Difficult news for his parents soon after the loss of their eldest son. Franz was stationed at Fort Sill, Oklahoma and Fort Riley, Kansas before deploying to Iraq for a year-long tour. After serving in Iraq, Franz was deployed again, this time to Afghanistan. On September 29, 2012, Franz and his team were manning a routine traffic control point when things took a traitorous turn. One of the Afghan National Army soldiers uh, turned on us and started shooting us. I was hit five times, four times to the stomach. And then another Afghan national soldier came around and shot me in the back when I was on the ground. The gunshot to Franz's back damaged his spleen and left femur. But the four gunshots to his abdomen took an even greater toll, shattering his right pelvis, causing irreparable nerve damage to his right leg and tearing portions of his stomach. Franz was evacuated to Landstuhl Regional Medical Center in Germany and placed into an induced coma. After 12 days in a coma, Franz was airlifted to Walter Reed Hospital where he spent the next three years trying to recover from his massive injuries. We are privileged to have him here with us. Please give a hero's welcome to U.S. US Army Sergeant Franz Walkup. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much for your service. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you all so very much. much. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling great. Um, ever since my injury in 2012, uh, you know, you go through some dark times, depression and all that stuff. But um, I've been, got through it all. Now I'm on the uprise. I got a great job, got a fiance. So things oh, are going in a great, great direction for me. We discussed some of the injuries in the video we just saw, but can you explain a little further the, the injuries you sustained? Yes, sir. Uh, so the four bullets that hit my right pelvis shattered it, so they had to replace and build me a whole new hip, the bolt, wow. bolt in there. So when they did that, my right leg was a little shorter, uh -huh. so I had a very bad limp, and I was in a wheelchair most of, my, uh, most of that time. For three years, I would walk a little bit, use a walker or a cane, and over 80 surgeries. O and, over 80 uh, surgeries? Over 78 surgeries wow. at, at Walter Reed. I had a trach, I was two wow. bed. So I was 250 pounds when I got injured, and then you saw the picture, I was 150 pounds when I woke up. Yeah, it's a crash diet, you know? Right. <laughs> you don't want to do it, it's, it's right. pretty harsh, but yeah. Wow. What, what were some of the challenges that you faced when, when you got home? When I got home, so, the, w the doorways are not wide enough, so I was in a wheelchair. I'm kind of a bigger right. person, so I had a wider chair, mm -hmm. and I would hit my knuckles on doorways. Using a shower tub combos are miserable, especially when you can't lift your leg up with right. the hip. So when Gary came along and built this, this amazing house, it took all that stress off of you, and right. it changes your life a 100 times over, because not only does it give you a place to live that it's accommodating to you, because it's not just uh, like a cookie cutter house. Right. Every veteran has separate needs, and the Gary Sinise Foundation works with that. Mm -hmm. So, like for me, I needed a great shower, I needed a kitchen that I could use, and they accommodated for everything. So the counter heights is different right. for a lot of people. Well, if you're in a wheelchair, it needs to be set a little lower. And since Gary's built, mine was a 30-second house, so they already had it figured out. What I, they, they had stuff already planned for me that I didn't even know I needed at that time. Wow. So, yeah, they're like, ah, oh, we got you. So it was, it was great. But able to customize it for you. Yeah. So uh, great. Yeah. Yes. They, they really thought of everything. Everything. And amazing. Yep. So great. Welcome. Hey, bud. How are you? 
Pretty good. How you doing? <laughs> Looking good. How do you like the place? I love it. Boy, it's a little piece of heaven. This is the bathroom. The favorite part of the house, I would have to say, is the shower. I can transfer, can bring the chair in. I can transfer over. I can, everything's accessible. I've got a little rain head and everything. It takes away a lot of the dangers of having a house from like getting in and out of a shower that is like a, a bath shower combo, which is, you know, you have a fall trip hazard. Because I, I used to have to climb in the tubs and stuff because it was like a unitub shower combo, and it was miserable. Pain. Yeah. Yeah. What else you got? What else we got? Let's see. I love to cook, so this is where I do a lot of the stuff. Wow, beautiful kitchen. Yeah, cooking so I can feed myself the stove and everything's set up for me to get to. If you are in the chair, easy to get mm -hmm. in here. Underneath it, and uh, a pot filler so I don't have to carry the pot full of water. Refrigerator, even the pull downs in the pantry so I can get to the spices. Yeah, everything's right here. Yeah, those are all great. And it's all been thought out. The Garrison News Foundation, they changed my life for the better. This incident that happened to me, you know, changed my life completely and made me very dependent. And uh, the Gary Sinise Foundation gave me back some of my independence. Thank you. Thank you so much. Such a beautiful, beautiful home. So wonderful. Franz, what was it like when you first met Gary? The first time I got to meet Gary, whew, that was a long time ago. It was uh, February of 2013. Uh-huh. Uh, Gary was coming around the hospital. He used to come every, like, four months or so around uh -huh. the hospital just to meet the new injured warriors. And, uh, you know, so the first time I met him was Valentine's Day. And I got to, um, <sighs> it's kind of crazy thinking that far back, through all the crazy yeah. stuff that was going on during that time. But um, so Gary came into the room. He's like, hey, I'm Gary Sinise. It's nice to meet you. Uh, he gave me a DVD that he signed for me, uh, uh -huh. the Forrest Gump movie. Yeah. And so that was my first time ever meeting a celebrity. So yeah. it, I was super excited. Gary was the first celebrity I've ever met. So, and then. You met the best, right? Best, off the best bat. one, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> you know. Hindsight, you know, back then, I didn't know that Gary was building houses or anything uh -huh. like that. You know, I was just uh, coming out of a coma. I was recovering. And um, it's been amazing. How, do, how does it feel for you when you hear these, the, influ the impact that you're having on so many people's lives, when you hear stories like Francis and just, it's well, incredible. Because you're so selfless. You're not doing it. It's not about you. You don't make it about yourself. You are, you are truly selfless when you give to other people. It, it, it's very, very simple for me. Uh, as I said, the impact that September 11th had on me and the deployment to Iraq and Afghanistan of so many who raised their hand uh, to deploy in reaction to that and the fear that I had about that terrible day uh, and the knowledge that I gained over the years uh, about the precious, uh, precious gift that we have of freedom and, who, and, it, and the knowledge that it has to be fought for, it has to be defended, it has to be protected. When you go around the world to places like Korea and Afghanistan and Iraq and places that really you know, are under the thumb of a dictator, and they don't know what freedom is. You value our freedom providers that much more. And, and, and you want to help them out. So I, I'm the grateful American here for, for you and your fellow veterans here who have sacrificed so much.